De Latinango Kennel Club. Sunday, June 9th, Master Interior, Trial 2, Room 1. We searched the boys' bathroom. The threshold was our start line. This door remained open for the duration of all the searches. There was a threshold, inaccessible hide deep in the back of this desk. The dogs, with the exception of one who caught it on entering, all of the dogs came into the bathroom, worked around the bathroom space, came up under the sinks, came up under the sinks and wrapped around the wall to catch this hide. We did take out of play both urinals, although the dividers were in play, and we also blocked entrance to the actual full bathroom behind. The door panels were in play. The dogs did a really nice job in here of catching this hide. If the handlers recognized that that was the only hide and called finish, they moved on successfully. Nice work, everyone. Master interior, trial two, room two. This was the computer room. The entire room was in play with the exception of the wall unit in the back. There was no door blocking entrance to the library, so the entire back wall was out of play. We did put this here to deter the dogs. However, if they did venture through, the dogs were uh, called back and responded very nicely. This room was very challenging because of all the windows. We, it was a warm day. We did have intermittent sun. So that warm air coming through the windows created a convection current and lifted odor into the room. And it started to settle along the rear computer bays on that side and also on this side. There were two hides in this room. The first hide was tucked inside the wheel of this AV cart. However, due to the duration of the search and the time of aging of the hide, odor started to seep up and come through the cart. So any indication on the cart was accepted, although most dogs were able to actually source the hide. The second hide was tucked underneath the edge of this whiteboard this hide, due to the opening and closing of the door with each exhibitor, started to pool and collect in this corner, under the chair, in the shelving units, around the bin, creating a bit of a challenge for some of the handlers who were more focused on having their dogs work this space and not realizing that the odor could have possibly been coming from here this hide also collected under here and the dogs were working it in this first set of desks trying to figure out how to work it back handlers that recognized that and gave their dogs a little bit of space and the handlers that remembered to work the wall were successful the rest of the room was blank all of the computer tables were blank and also all of the bookcases was a really nice search. We saw some phenomenal handling and really amazing teamwork. We had a nice cue rate for this. Congratulations to everyone. Master Interior Trial 2, Room 3. We searched this hallway. The blue tape was our start line, and the search area went down to this corner where we had some flat dots demarcating the boundary in the back. Both sides of the walls were in play. And there was a single threshold hide tucked inside the handle of that caution sign. Dogs that were at the start line and given the chance were already orienting toward this corner before they were released to search. A couple of dogs went in with their handlers and caught it on the way back. We did have some interest in this shelving unit with the books. Uh, but for the most part, the dogs did a really nice job. Congratulations to everyone.